What's going on, y'all? So, currently, I was informed to put this on YouTube. <laughs> I, was, I was just pulling cards right now. Um, if you hear cartoons in the back, that's me feeding my inner child. Get up on it. Get up on that wave. Where the hell is my damn remote? I've been watching cartoons, well, listening to cartoons for the past couple of days. I have no idea why. I guess it needs to be on there. Give me that remote, boy. Over there licking yourself while you got the remote by your foot. Give me the remote, Zeus. What about a bitch? You ain't getting no damn truth. You just damn. Well, look at me like that. What you want to do? Snuffling and huffling. I know you ain't. Anyway. Okay, guys. So, currently, somebody's divine masculine is up under pressure right now, okay? I started to play song in the background. It's pressure called Annie uh, uh, Ari Lennox. Uh, first of all, I don't own any rights to any music that may be playing randomly in the background of YouTube. <laughs> Secondly, my content is for 21 plus adults only. I do restrict my age limits on the video. So if a minor come across this, whose fault is that? YouTube's. Anyway, uh, let's get this going. Okay. So... Water sign came out on the deck, right? This water sign is is a little scared right now. I'm not sure. Uh, well, I do know why. Queen of Queen of Wands came out in reverse. Um. So I'm getting each card for each situation right here, right? So the High Priestess came out on the deck. Let me see if I can back this up a little bit so y'all can see. Okay, there we go. So here we have. I asked. I don't sleep in this house. And I'm like, okay, why? And then the high priestess popped out. And I heard the high priestess then, then busted a can of worms and busted, then spilt the milk, then spilt the beans, bitch. She done told some shit. So currently, whoever y'all done uh, confided in or whatever information that you put out there, I heard tarot reader, uh, channeler, you do something of divination and you, you, whatever. You put the information out there, right? Or maybe you told somebody shit. Maybe you said, look, this motherfucker doing this against this motherfucker. Look, look, somebody said, I hear somebody saying, yeah, dark magic is being used against my twin flame. Somebody be having conversations about something. Look, honest conversations in the reverse, but this is about divine masculine, divine feminine. He needs to actually have an honest conversation with divine feminine so they can get this ball rolling okay is what i'm is what i'm hearing currently somebody was arguing and fighting at the moment when i pulled this card uh that was about like 30 40 minutes ago something like that they could still be arguing um but what i was told was to put this on youtube and i always follow my guides and what i'm supposed to do so boom bam bam there it is um so lover's quarrel i said what is lover's quarrel spirit said Seven of Cups in the in-between. So, Seven of Cups in the in-between is feeling like Divine Masculine don't feel like he has a choice. But also, he's a, there's illusions. Nothing but illusions around him. But he's seeing straight through the bullshit. I can tell you that right now. Oh, I heard he's been seeing straight through the bullshit. He's about to choose something. that is. He's about to choose his heart. He's about to go straight to it. He fucked this tornado. Fuck this snake ass bitch. Fuck this rose with the thorns on it. I want a rose with no thorns on it because every time I touch this rose, the rose touch me back. I'm tired of that. He's about to choose his heart and fly straight to his divine destiny. Look how strong it's about to be over this choice. I see choice and look at this. He's about to choose his heart and it's about to be strong as hell and it's about to be lucrative and it's about to be whole. This tornado and the snake, funny how this shit is over here up under the same goddamn area. Keep, 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 girl, get the fuck up out of here. So I said, too obsessed to let go. First of all, I asked what was Divine Masculine scared of. Queen of Wands reversed. But see, you see how this bitch is too obsessed to let go? I didn't even pick, I didn't even see how too obsessed this bitch is to let go, right? So I said, what was the card that I needed? Oh, I said, who's currently arguing? Three of Cups came out. Third parties, karmics, right? And then the Ten of Swords. These bitches feel de de defeated. These bitches feel like they lost. <laughs> you may have won the battle, but you didn't win the war. I thought I told you that. <laughs> anyway, so... Need a place to stay, right? Need a place to stay came out. And I said, why? Why, Spirit? Guess what the fuck flipped out? I should I should have been recording this shit from the get-go. Um, Guess what flipped out? Because he's walking away. He he got his shit packed, bitch. <laughs> he like, no, nah, I can't do this. I, I, I'm i good. I'm good. I'm good, bro. Ooh, y'all want to see my lights change? Hold on. We ain't tried the RBG effect. Ooh. 
Get in there with the motherfucking magical presents. Oh, and let me get my wand, my colorful wand. My cat looking at me like, what the fuck is you doing? Y'all, look how my cat looking. I got to show you. Look at this little badass cat. Look at how he looking at me. Y'all see that? Y'all can't see that. Let me see. Oh, yeah, I see it a little bit. Why he looking so evil? Now you want to close your little skimpy ass eyes when I put the camera on you. You call. You call him 4K, nigga. Anyway, so I said, why does Divine Masculine need a place to stay? Because he walking away. And this is two. Something significant about 88. He could have been born in 1988. I hear not 87, 1987, 1984. So 88 is significant. You may be seeing 88, 858 on the clock, 848, 818. You're going to be seeing eights a lot. Eight is significant because two eights came up, right? So we have eight of cups and eight of wands. This person is walking away. Divine masculine is walking away. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And then we have here fire signs. So we have two signs out here on the deck cancer scorpio pisces fire sign scorpio i mean um Sagittarius. something is relevant with a scorpio i heard yes the mother anyway so eight of wands here somebody's karmic mama is a sagittarius too or she got placements in sagittarius she got a lot of fire signs that's why she act the way she act she is scorpio but i feel like she got a lot of fire signs spirit is saying yes um Eight of Wands, so we have Fire Sign here, Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries, right? So this is two signs out here on the board. These bitches over here, Karmics, are Air Sign and Cups, right? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and Gemini, um, Libra, Aquarius, Air Sign. So, Justice. I feel like that's Libra. So, when I ask, why won't they love me like they love you, right? Justice was out, and this bitch is using dark magic to, t to try to down balance these scales, balance these ways. I keep telling you, bitches, that spirit sees all and knows all. Even whatever else y'all believe in, because y'all know what I believe in. <laughs> My damn self, bitch. I am God. Shit. Anyway, uh, black woman is God. <laughs> Facts. Uh, so, anyway, um... Black men too. <laughs> hey. Okay. So balance out the scales. This is giving me nothing. But I'm trying to I'm trying to control this situation. I'm trying to take justice into my own hands and really it's about to be reversed as fuck. Because girl, I hear clapping in my he in my head. I hear bells ringing and, and and snapping and shit. Like, yes, bitch, you on point. Or like, yes, this is exactly what's gonna happen. It's gonna be in there in reverse. Because you tried to control the situation because you knew divine masculine loved this goddamn woman. You knew the uh, divine feminine loved that motherfucking man. You knew that. Look, the high priestess, you knew that. You got your fucking nerve to be uh, trying to, uh, girl, with dark ass magic that is nowhere near, if you is a witch, it ain't nowhere near your magic. <laughs> you a high priestess, it ain't nowhere near your magic. <laughs> this shit coming from the pits of hell. And you know what? Evil never prevails. And you know when I get in the rhyme and I get in the motherfucking chime fuck up out of here anyway so i said need a place to stay why because divine masculine is walking the fuck away from his motherfucking empty ass cups and going straight towards his destiny his path his connection look at how the moon this is really weird how the moon is it's like a crescent and a moon he's walking away from his confusion he's walking away from the crescent to get to the full moon mm. somebody got a moon tattoo birthmark is what i heard he's following his moon Divine Masculine may have a birthmark of a crescent. If your Divine Masculine have a birthmark of a crescent and you got a moon birthmark or a tattoo, something like that, he got a he got a crescent tattoo. This is this is about you, baby. Look at the he got clouds on his chest or something. He has cloud tattoos or something. And it kind of looked like this. Maybe you have a, a wand. 
a staff, a, a magical wand or something being uh, tatted on his chest or a birthmark. Something's relevant about these birthmarks right here. He may even have tattoos of mountains, maybe a, a birthmark of a mountain. You, you may have it. It doesn't matter. Something is real relevant with this moon and this crescent. I think people got either tattoos or birthmarks, bro. And this person, somebody got clouds on their tattoos. So, this person is definitely walking away, right? So, we finna get the rest of these cards. I wish I just would have started recording this shit, but, <laughs> baby, I was on some other shit right now. So, anyway, um, this may be short because I got to uh, finish off my client's um, self-love jar and then send it off by 2, 2 p.m. So... Yeah, I got to do her honey jar and, and put her packages together and stuff like that, right? So, um, bottom of the deck, Eight of Pentacles. Let's see if, that, if that's relevant, if that ties into it. Y'all, ooh, I made some uh, chicken enchiladas yesterday, but I had to go. Uh, my life is kind of hectic, shit. I need a better time management. But I had to go, so my mama finished them, right? She made the uh, enchilada pie. I just had a piece of them, and it's cold, and baby, it was so fucking fire. I'm so fucking hungry after that. Ooh! Mm. Before I left yesterday, I was like, Mom, you got to finish this because I got to go. And she's like, all right. So she made a two layer. I usually make three or four layers, right? But it's like less meat in between layers, but it's still fucking fire. But she made a two layer enchilada pie. And baby, it's thick. It is right. And it's good. <laughs> and I keep saying, why two layers? Why would you make two layers, girl? We do four and three in this motherfucker. You feel me? Anyway. But it is, it's fire because it's more meat in between layers. So I might start doing it. Maybe like a three layer, right? So anyway, there's definitely a water sign inv involved with this situation. And I'm looking for my situations de deck. Uh, I mean, my truths deck, right? So if you get a message randomly from Divine Masculine and like, I need a place to stay. Follow your heart and follow your intuition. No matter what has transpired between you two or what has happened between you two, this person is reaching out in that way. If you turn them down, that's your prerogative. That's your choice to do so. But you may be turning away something that is meant to happen the way it's supposed to happen. Okay? Just because it's coming to you in a very negative stance don't mean it can be something blossoming and something blooming. Somebody got a fucking crescent. I'm telling you. Somebody got a crescent moon tattoo or a goddamn something. Something relevant with these moons right now. Um, also, could be up under a full moon or a crescent moon when Divine Masculine is coming. Whatever is December. Something. Hold on. Let me. Hold on. Spirit, give me a month, please. They said you just said it. You don't need to. I like this board. Damn. They be hating on the player. Anyway, so give me a month, please, when Divine Masculine is coming forth. For this specific, they said, you said it, December. Okay, so it's going straight towards December. Um, Spirit, give me a day. They said no. <laughs> they said y'all not finna be fixate, fixated on a day. Just know in December. So get your ass ready. Clean your house. Somebody got, somebody, somebody got a bunch of clothes somewhere. Somebody got, somebody got dishes in the house. Somebody got, so clean your fucking house. Uh, and I'm talking to me too, baby. Cause look, I got drawers and shit on the floor. Anyway, so, uh. <laughs> Don't trip. I'm talking to me too. Okay. The fuck we real up in this bitch. Shit. My life is busy and hectic as fuck. <laughs> so just take a time out to clean your house and tidy up. Because I think Divine Masculine is coming. This is giving me really much. He coming fast. Because whatever he done fucking found out about this bitch here. Somebody small minded. I heard Divine Mask. Yes. No. Divine this is not Divine Mask. No. This is the karmics. We going we gonna separate this shit right now because this is too close to home to me. Bitch, you're not finna have your energy with anybody's divine masculine. Um, this is what we finna do. So we finna put the high priestess over here. Love is quarrel. Divine masculine. Divine masculine is coming. Somebody's currently arguing and fighting, and it is the motherfucking karmics. Um, uh, honest conversations, and then we have a water sign. I'm scared. He's a little scared and lost. But so the people that's currently arguing is people that's trying to fucking co co um confuse this whole situation with dark ass magic that has now backfired. Oops. Sorry. I mean, oops. Anyway, I could have told, I could have sworn I told y'all asses to stop doing this. 
to stop doing magic, to stop using dark arts, to stop doing it. Why don't you use magic to heal your black ass? <laughs> Why don't you use magic? <laughs> That's for some. She know who I'm talking to. <laughs> Why don't you heal rather than doing this? Stupid bitch. Uh, you know, my bad, y'all. I'm getting off track here. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> so anyway, why won't they love me like they love you? Because you use magic to do this. If you just genuinely showed interest or maybe genuinely showed a parental care for this person, maybe instead of using dark magic since the day they was motherfucking born and in other past lives and other past lives and other past, maybe you could have have a better outcome. Okay. Even though this was kind of weird and foul, how you just decided to reincarnate into a mother figure. That's weird. But you know, um, I guess do you, whatever fucking weird ass. Um, Shit, I just would have reincarnated into a bad bitch. <laughs> okay? Why would I want to reincarnate to a mother figure? And you my past lover. That's nasty. Stupid ass bitch. And that is on a notification on Gmail. Okay, so guys, let me get my situations deck. Because I feel like we need situations in this mug. So as I was saying, if Divine Masculine reach out, you have all discernment and all right to say no. But... You may be missing out on the greatest opportunity of your life because no matter how this has transferred, right? And you do what you want to do. Shit, don't make me, don't let me convince you to do what the fuck you don't want to do. This is what you want to do, so do it. If you say no, you say no. That's just how the cookie crumble. He gonna have to, he gonna have to deal with that shit because of his choices, right? And that's what I'm saying. If you say no, oh well, shit. But I'm just saying that you may be missing out on. Spirit is saying the greatest opportunity of your fucking life, the, the thing that you've been waiting for. Spirit is saying, no, nah, we're not going to let you miss out on this. Spirit is saying, Spirit wants me to teach you something right now. Spirit is saying, if you want to say no to a, a, your divine masculine moving in with you or asking for help to get out of this situation, you need to heal. Because how in the hell, how in the hell do, do you want... It's not just the way that you wanted it to, to come out, right? That's not what it was. It's not how you wanted it to come out. So you're going to say no out of pettiness. You're going to say no out of, out of being petty as fuck. Mm, mm, mm. You're going to say no out of being petty as hell over the things that Divine Masculine has done. You still need to heal, baby girl. I can't make this shit up. Let this man come to you and say, this is what's been going on. And I know now, and I'm sorry. But you know what? Some of my masculines, some of them can't really apologize like that is what I'm getting. They're going to come to you and tell you the truth. And in their eyes, that's an apology. And you know what? Honestly, hold on. Let me, let me, let me, let me tell y'all something. My channeling is fucking real. My healing process is real. If you expect a certain way, a, spur, a certain word, a certain action from a man, that's wrong. Because you don't know why this man can apologize. You know why, but why? If you know why, so why the fuck you throwing it in his face? Oh, you can't say sorry. You can't apologize to me. You can't apologize for everything. This nigga just told you, or this man rather, for the rest of you, right? That's just hot talk. I'm black shit. Y'all know. Y'all don't give a fuck. Anyway, so this man has told you. I know the fucking dark magic is being used against me or I know this bitch has been bounding me or I've been messing with these third parties and that is his apology. He will give it to you in his own time but at least he's telling you the fucking truth. At least he's telling you the information that you knew already knew but you needed confirmation from him. Y'all are small minded, baby. I can't make this shit up. You, you kind of started acting like a karmic shit. Are you are the karmic or are you divine feminine? Because divine feminine is supposed to accept how he comes to you because he is still a whole individual on his own. Just cause you act like you, you, you a certain way and you act and you know you to give an apology when it's due. Don't mean he do. At least he'll come and tell you the whole fucking situation. Given you do deserve an apology, but how it's about to be presented to you is about to be in a way that you didn't expect and you're not going to like it. This is for somebody specific. Your ass is going to make him run right back to these goddamn karmic situations. All because of how you're not... Ex Here we go. All because you're not accepting how he's expressing himself. You cannot make a man express himself the way that he can't. 
You have to learn to deal with that. You have to learn to accept him for who he is, but also don't accept bullshit. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about the cheating and the, and the disgusting. And I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the way that he is literally who he is as a person. If he never apologized a day in his life to nobody else, and he ain't still apologizing to you, that's just him. You have to kind of take a step back and say, okay, that's just him and who he is. He accepts you with your fucking flaws. He accepts you with all your bullshit. Men are more accepting of our flaws and our bullshit rather than we are of them because we nitpick at everything. And if you disagree, bitch, I'm talking about you. We nitpick at everything. He didn't give me flowers on a Thursday at 2, two o'clock. He didn't say, oh, I'm so happy that you got the job when I told him. He didn't say, he said it, but he said it two days later. Girl, you need to heal. You need to heal. We know we are deserving of these things, but how can they give it to us when this person is lost? You have to accept that who they are for right now. And once you guys get together, you both will be healing each other so you can get the deserving things on the time frame. That's how the fuck is he supposed to know what to give you if he don't know you? If he don't know how to love you, he had to lose you to love you. He had to go through all this bullshit to, to, to learn to, that he really does love you. Now, when y'all get together, he's about to learn you. And that's for somebody specific. You need to stop being so goddamn small minded and say, nope, he ain't say this on the Tuesday at 4 p.m. Uh, <clears throat> hold on. I got getting kind of choked up right now. <clears throat> Shit. That's because. Yo, throw shaka. You need to heal that. You need to heal your throat chakra. Not only is it open, that's a good thing, it's open, but the, how you speak and how your manner and your, your what you say out your mouth is bullshit, Divine Feminine. Okay, you're not coming from a place from a love. You're coming from hurt. You're coming from hurt. Shit, are you the karmic? I know we're not a karmic. We're we not karmics, are we, Divine Feminine? Hello? Are you the karmic? Karmics do this. Divine feminines, divine masculines understand the process and they accept their counterpart for who they are. Even if they do have a little differences, not everyone is the fucking same. Not even twins. Why do you think twins have different personalities and different bodies and different... What the fuck is you talking about? Oh, I don't know who this is for, but you pissing me off. Your energy is pissing me off. You are so fucking unhealed. And also you are going to readers that who are unhealed as well. These readers is telling you, divine masculine don't do this. Divine masculine do this. Divine masculine. Bitch, you don't even have a divine masculine. Everybody ain't got no twin flame. <laughs> you projecting what you don't have, bitch. You mad. <laughs> Stop going to these readers. They're not telling you the truth. They're not telling you. They're telling you what you want to hear so you can relate to them. So you can hit that subscribe button. When have y'all ever asked me? I mean, when have you ever heard me say, can y'all please subscribe to my channel? Can y'all please I have in the beginning, but I, look, I, that stopped. That shit stopped a long time ago. You either gonna subscribe or you not. I don't care. Long as you receive this message, bro. You ain't gotta subscribe to my shit. I'm here to reach certain people to help y'all. Subscribing and getting all them. So I don't give a fuck. I, I really don't. Like my business is popping. I, I go to the, the people that need to be reached. It's a lot of y'all right now. So shit, I don't even want no motherfucker to subscribe. Shit, <laughs> calm down. You feel me? Like I be having millions of fucking e emails. Shit, I kind of think about <laughs> just taking a break from YouTube, babe. Anyway, I will never in my life. Say, go ahead and sit, 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 hit that subscribe button for me. Girl, if this message reach you, this is for you. Okay? I don't give a fuck if you subscribe or not. As long as you receive this message at hand. But you will hit that subscribe button. Because why? Because I'm a realist at the end of the day. I come with the nitty motherfucking gritty. Even if it's shitty. And you need to heal you need to heal. Spirit is saying top deck. Pride. You have a huge ego and pride. That's crazy. How the hell is he supposed to heal? If you, excuse me, if you don't. Divine feminines have more power to a situation than you think. You are the justice. You are the karma. You can either wreak havoc on the situation or you can be lighthearted and move on and try to balance it out. What are you going to do? Are you going to be on the right side of justice or the wrong side of justice? What the fuck are you going to do? You have the you have the whole situation. The whole situation is controlled by you. You know why? I just told a client this earlier. I said, you know why? 
If you heal, he heals. Ain't no magic amount in the world is going to allow that man to not heal simultaneously with your healing. This is a divine destiny. It may be little obstacles thrown in the way, little 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 surrendering need to be, little little cutting off karmics and shit, but it's still going to go lead to the same path that you're supposed to be on. I don't know who this is for, but maybe you do need to click that subscribe button because, bitch, I'm not gonna tell you no no lies. I'm not gonna tell you what you want to hear to create fantasy and seduction. To lie to you. Oh, yeah. Fuck a divine masculine. He ain't shit. We got soulmates out. Girl, that is the best love of your life is a twin flame. You heal, he heal. Anyway, uh, let's continue this story because you're pissing me off with your energy. Uh, so, anyway. So, here we have here two obsessed to let go and then small mindedness, right? Seven of, seven of cups with the lover's quarrel and then eight of wands because divine masculine is going to be needing a place to stay, boo. And who I am today. Come on. Come on, daddy. <laughs> Uh, look, knock at the door. That's you? What's up? <laughs> uh, like, you want to go to the casino? Shit. Anyway, um, like I'm saying, okay, at the end of the day, this is, this is the path that you're supposed to be on. If you heal, then you understand the situation. There needs to be a con con honest conversation with, between divine, divine masculine and divine feminine. It needs to go happen. It needs to go on, bro. Ain't no way in hell that nothing can and just fall into place. Look, marriage proposal. P proposal marriage. Nothing can fall into place without conversations and understanding, okay? Look, 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 look what's playing. You should come through tonight. You should come through tonight. You should you might as well just come on. <laughs> Let's see what cards come out. We're going to get this damn story, okay? So, Spirit, let me get a card for currently arguing and fighting. Hi, wait. That landed here. Yes. Keep it there. They said someone is currently arguing and fighting about a high vibrational couple. This bitch is contemplating like a motherfucker. Trying, ooh, she eat, damn, I didn't mean to knock those out. She is evil as fuck. But she don't know that evil never prevails, bitch. We can get evil too. Our evil will trump yours. Stop playing with us. Because we are love and light. We are duality. We are dark and light, bitch. You just dark. You don't think our power is more powerful than you? This is for the witches, specifically only for the witches. You, you raggedy bitch. Girl, get the fuck up out of here. I be trying to tell you raggedy ass bitches. Anyway independent fell out someone wants to talk about their insecurities they're planning code spirit hold on is this relevant yes yes okay they say read the energies so we have here independent i don't know why this is giving me karmic yes wow so this is giving me karmic this actually fell out of her whole goddamn shit these are her cards yet yeah, yes so she's contemplating she's independent she's been independent from a lot of people right now like she's literally shut down a little bit is what i heard she shut down family members she shut she she's being mean she's being evil around her because she feels fucking defeated everybody is walking on eggshells around this bitch and they feel the energy in the house because they 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 try to ask her what the fuck is wrong with you like are you okay somebody is are you okay Mima? who the fuck is Mima? <laughs> are you okay are you okay nana are you okay something you okay Teresa? cheyenne crystal christine christina i hear tati i hear tina titi Kiyoshi, Kiyosha. Jubilee. Something is something about a Jubilee. Seven is significant. Seven is definitely significant. Um somebody's name is Dontre. 
Dontrieu. That's so cute. That's like Montreal. Somebody dealing with a Scorpio. I looked at my tapestry on my wall and it's got a, a Scorpio because I'm a Scorpio, duh. But somebody dealing with a Scorpio. We have Cancer Scorpio Pisces here. Cancer Scorpio Pisces here. We got water sign there. Cancer Scorpio Pisces here. Something significant with a Teresa. Then I heard threshold. What the fuck? Somebody's name is Missy. Missy being evil than a motherfucker. No. No, somebody named Missy is either around that house or near that house or live in that house or somebody. Somebody name is Missy. Somebody name is also Miss E. Like M R S dot E. Could be Erica. I heard Eugenia. I heard Urshel. Er, 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 it, what the fuck? Okay, anyway, let's stop with the names. Um, so, Cause I'm gonna just keep going and going and going. Y'all can channel all day long doing some fucking names. So, she, this is giving me so much evil. Independent, away from everybody, trying to contemplate, trying to. She's trying to focus on what to do because she want to talk. She want to talk to divine feminine. What the fuck? Girl, uh, ring, ring. Hello, Barbara. This is Shirley. <laughs> Y'all see that video by A Z I E L? I believe her name is. Um, she fire. She, I like her. She funny as fuck. Did y'all see that video? The, the the title was Hello Shirley. This is Barbara. Or Hello Barbara. This is Shirley. <laughs> no, for real. This ties into that. This bitch want to talk. This bitch is gonna end up calling somebody because she's insecure as shit. She's planning to create codependency issues. With a message. Ooh, baby. To tell you that divine masculine is attracted to Boom, bam, bing, bada, bing. ba bow, bitch. We got it now. <laughs> Insecure. You finna try to talk to, to cause some insecurities with divine feminine. And plan to have divine feminine codependent as fuck. But actually turn her back away from divine masculine. She, Cause she feel like you too codependent on him. She feel like there's a codependency. She's about to manipulate and flip it, bitch. You finna get a phone call, a text, an email, Snapchat, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram. Something's about to go down in these DMs. It go down in the DM. I just heard that. It's going down in the DM. So what is some of these divine feminines is finna be like? Okay. Is that it? You done? Have a blessed day. <laughs> the fuck? Uh, some of these divine feminists, bitch, you got me fucked up. Don't do that. Don't do that. Because you know who you is. You know, who Who are you? A high vibrational fucking being. How many minutes are we on, y'all? We are, we at 33. You are a high vibrational fucking being. I'm going to end this uh, currently right here. I know y'all going to want the whole story. I mean, this is the whole story shit. <laughs> I know I can go on and on and on, right? What is these pl karmics planning, spirit? Exactly what you just said. That's exactly what... Okay. Get Divine Masculine story next and then end it. Okay, cool. So, karmic situations here, please, spirit. Wow. Spirit said, get Divine Masculine situation and end it. Wow. Look what I just cut. Look what I just cut. And then look at that death spells. Your death spells ain't working, is it? Look what I just cut. Look, that's it. That's all, bro. Look, they say, look, fuck the music right now. Look at this shit. Y'all see how that landed over here. I wanted to get something over here, but they say get divine masculines and end it. His sex addiction is no more. They know that. This is twin flames. This is a fucking soulmate also. Could be both in one. I mean, of course it's both in one. He's a twin flame. He's your soulmate. But also, could no, this is just for twin flames. Nope. This is just for twin flames. I'm sorry. It's no soulmate situation. This is your soulmate. You are twin flames and this is your soulmate. This is a very deep, deep fucking connection. So when this man hit you up and say, hey, can we talk? Or hey, can 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 I come over? Just be like, yep. Yeah. He sure can. <laughs> um, 
Cause he probably gonna end up never leaving again. But if you don't want to, well then shit, that's girl, that's on you. At the cause at the moment you lost and you really don't know what to do, and that's okay. Maybe this is not your story, so don't make it fit. Do not make this fit. We have air sign and fire sign and uh water sign out here on the deck. The for show for show, divine masculine is a water sign. I that came out earlier. Um also, he's a Gemini. Someone has a Gemini Divine Masculine. So this is definitely for you as well. But don't make the story fit because this is what you want. He wants You want him to come knocking at your door. Baby, because it's probably not the right time. Stop making stories fit, y'all. Y'all be getting on my nerves with that. When you make a story fit, you make the, the story go longer. I see the Knight of Pentacles. You make that shit drag out, baby. We want the Knight of Swords. We want the Knight of Cubs. We want that man rushing in. We want the Knight of Wands is what we want. We want it fast. We don't want to keep deterring. De de deterring. Deterring. Mm, mm, mm. I meant to say something else. What the fuck is that? Anyway, we don't want to keep... Well, I was, oh, deteriorating. Someone is deteriorating their fucking story by accepting other stories and, and getting it jumbled with illusions. Girl, that's why it's taking so long because you accepting each story as your own. And it's not. Maybe right now your ass in a tornado right now. And then maybe you'll come into wholeness with yourself later and then work on your finances and then be strong. And then this snake ass bitch will be gone. And then you'll get your love. And then you'll get the roses without the thorn. And you know when I get in the rhyme, I get in the motherfucking chiming. Stop making stories fit. This ain't it. This ain't yours, okay? But whoever divine masculine this is, this man needs to talk. He wants to talk. He got to talk. He leaving this situation, and karmics are knowing it. They are feeling it. No matter which way the cookie crumble, it's not gonna crumble on you, bitch. We gonna you pick that motherfucker up and eat it, <laughs> okay? Big bitches stand up, baby. <laughs> pick up that when the cookie crumble. Pick it up and eat it, bitch. The fuck. Anyway, somebody triggered, and I'm getting. Mm -hmm triggered because you're trying to create these distractions and you're trying to shadow work you that's what you need to do nope this is divine masculine yes oh oh hold on back it up back it up back it up you triggered you triggered because them distractions ain't working and he's working on his inner child mm, mm, mm. and shadow work bitch what did i just say spirit said that's it that's all about a mean about a Look at this motherfucking shit. Bitch. Bye.